Hi everyone. Today we're not doing something new, but maybe a new idea on something that we've made before. I'm going to make a matchbook. I'm going to use a heavier piece of paper, like cardstock. In this case, I'm using a master board that I made on a piece of cardstock, so it's about eight and a half by 11. And I'm going to cut it in half lengthwise, so about four and a quarter. And I haven't made this before per se, but I have made matchbooks before. And my favorite way to do them is not to measure them, just to kind of think, which do I want to be my long side? And um, for this one, I'm actually gonna turn it this way. Then, This part will be the part where the papers are attached to, and this will be the cover. So it needs to be long enough so that by the time we staple that down, this can tuck into there. And I'm going to round the corners. Maybe, if it lets me. All right, so something like this, where it's gonna be overlapping by almost half an inch. Okay, now, with this, I want to make sure that I have some decoration also on the inside because the what the what I have in mind for it will leave it exposed in the end. So basically, we're going to make a matchbook and then we're going to attach it like a pocket. That way, the notebook will be, the notepad will be in here, and the pocket will be back here. So we're gonna attach it to the, to the journal here and here and here. I mean, you could do it on the end too, but I think it would be better if it would be attached there. So, yeah, let's go ahead and try this. I want to do some stenciling, I think. Okay, I'm just going to use my... Um, favorite blue today. And my favorite butterfly. Well, the one that's handy anyways. I think I'm going to have to find my paddle brushes because I think they were a little nicer with the effect. But I have all these sponges, so got to use them up, right? Hmm. 
Okay. Okay, I won't even see that. All right, so that's good. Okay, so for the inside, you can use whatever paper you like. I'm going to start with uh, this loose leaf paper lined and I'm just going to probably quarter it okay it's a little long but it's not too wide, so we're just going to trim a little bit off. It's Monday morning, and I can tell. Hope you all are doing well. We're happy to wake up for another day. Okay, so that's four sheets right there. And that will fit nicely. And I'm going to, I don't know, I'm not sure how many, how many pages I want in here. So this will serve as a tuck spot once the pages have all been written on and removed. I mean, the pages wouldn't have to be removed. I'm just thinking um, if the person wanted to remove them, then there would be at least something in the back. And then they could use this as a tuck spot because then these pages would be gone and then it would leave that open like a hiding spot. Okay, I think we're, we could use one more sheet. So that would bring us up to 12 pieces of paper. I think that's a nice amount for what the project is. You got 12 pieces of paper, but if they wanted, they could write on each side. So then 24 would be the number they would end up with. Okay. This would make a really good mass make. And...
Okay, I'm going to just take a little more off because I don't like that sound. Okay, that's better. It's a little more room up here. So then, just gonna try and straighten these out. Okay, like so, and then like I said, we can attach this to our book. Like so, and I guess it could be, since the lines go this way, you could either put it this way, except I wouldn't like that for myself. I would like it this way. And then it could be written on. The pocket could be side pocket, or it could be a narrow one for up here, and you could put like a tag in there or something. So maybe we'll do that. So I've inked it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I think I'm going to make mine a side loading pocket. So then we'll put the glue over here. I'm adding more glue because it's thicker paper and there's quite a bit of weight to this thing. So now also we could put it a little higher up if we wanted to. because um, I find for myself, I put a lot of things at the bottom of my journals, not so much <clears throat> towards the top. And I'm trying to get a little more balance. So, all right, so that will fold in there, revealing a book. And then the pocket will be here. And then I think, like I said, they can remove the papers and then that will be exposed. So I was thinking of putting something back there, like a placeholder, like even this doily might be a surprise. It should get nice and flat after all that weight on it. So there. And then if you wanted to, you could still decorate here. You could cover the staples. Yeah, so I'm going to put a verse in.
not an overly large or complicated project, but I haven't seen anybody turn that into a pocket before. They probably, somebody probably has, but I'm just saying I haven't come across this before. I was um, tossing and turning last night trying to think of something kind of original to do, so <laughs> that's getting more and more difficult because there's so many great ideas out there. Alright, so this is our perfect peace journal. And today's verses are Revelation 1, verses 4 and 5. John to the seven churches that are in Asia, grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come and from the seven spirits who are before his throne and from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead and the ruler of the kings of the earth. To him who loves us and released us from our sins by his blood. Amen. So, the pocket is then over here. And I am just going to see about whether I need to clamp this. I might need to clamp it so that when I shut the book, the um, the whole thing won't glue together. Because there has been a little bit of seepage there from the glue. And I might leave this out for now. Okay, so... The um, thing that's sticking out over here is just the the top part. The, the bottom has secured, so that should be fine. And if I put that there, it won't close all the way, so that's good. So then for decorating, I was thinking I could add like a piece of lace here or something. I'm just thinking color scheme now. I've got the the pink and there's a blue there. I could do something like that just to cover the staples if I didn't want them to be seen. And then maybe a word strip or something. Like so. And then I can ink it a little to make it blend in better. So yeah, probably not a very original idea, but just another way to use something that we've most likely already made before. And two, I like that I don't have to measure that one, it's just done. And one piece of paper, like one piece of cardstock, would actually make two. Notepad, so there we go. And of course, you could add and decorate more if you like. I'm going to take that off, I think it's dried now. So, there we go. That is Monday's project, nice and simple. And uh, why not? We're always looking for pockets and ways to add things to them so hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you again next time thanks for joining and bye for now